Howdy folks! Had a lot of folks ask an email, how do I get these blue skies? They especially ask that because in this particular instance, this still, you can actually see the entire video of the entire shoot of this Howard 500. And they said, well hey, Moose, there was no blue sky, it was like overcast. How'd you do that? Well, let's see how I did that. So I, this is the final finished image here in Photoshop. I'm going to come over here and double click on the smart object right there, okay? I'm going to double click on that and that takes me right back into Adobe Camera Raw. Now what you're seeing here, okay, uh, shot with the, the D4S, 80 to 400 at 1 60th a second, F20, and I'm panning with the Howard 500 as it screams by, and it's going by, oh, 300 miles an hour plus. So it's just screaming by, which is giving me that nice background. Now, how do I get this blue? Well, let's see. The easy way, I guess, to do it would be simply to go back and go back to the original, okay? So there you could say is how we saw the scene. The first thing you can say is, wow, there ain't no blue sky no more. No problem. I'm going to come over here and hit my preset. Okay, first thing is my base, my preset. With that, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to bring up the shadows, this side of the fuselage. And I'm going to sit there and I'm, I should mention I am working on the Mac Retina. I have my Wacom 13HD Cintiq. And I'm doing everything visually because the computer, as you can see, is calibrated. I won. Okay, so it's calibrated. Now, there's the basics. The shadows are brought up. Now I'm gonna come back over here to my HSL grayscale. Okay, the HSL grayscale is very important. I'm gonna go to luminance. Don't go with the default hue. Hue bad person. Stay away from hue. Go to luminance. And with that, all I'm gonna do is watch the side. So, for example, watch the yellow. Now the yellow is going to do what? It affects down here as well as the prop rotation and the side of the aircraft. Okay, hit the P, you can see the before and after. So the green, I'm going to come down, bring that green down. Now there's some orange in here, so I'm going to bring the orange up. Come over to saturation, there's a little bit of red, orange, and yellow in here, so I'm going to bring up those. So there's my basics. Now the sky not so appealing. How do I get the blue sky? Well, I'm, I'm in Adobe Camera Raw, so I'm working with a raw file. That's very important. I get maximum quality, okay, and ease. What I'm going to do is come over to my split grad. I'm going to hit my plus sign so it's all zeroed out, okay. I'm going to draw it down. Now I bring the split grad in here. And if you just bring it darker, it just makes darker gray, doesn't it? Not really what I want. I want blue. So go up here to temperature, okay? Right here. Go to temperature. Real simple. And just bring that down to the line to blues. And just bring it down. And remember, if you go like this, everybody's gonna go, um, I think you did something in Photoshop. Okay? We want just a subtle kiss of that blue. So I'm just basically changing the color temperature in that sky. The split grad, which is what's active, is letting me do that. And you can bring it up and down, whatever is your pleasure. But this blue is being introduced by the split grad and the temp temperature of it. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So with that, I have my base exposure. Okay, my base photograph. You can see here a Nick Color Effect Pro. That's the Pro Contrast. So Pro Contrast is helping this aircraft pop a little bit more from the background. Even though I've got the nice blur going on from the panning, okay, I wanted to pop a little bit more visually from the Pro Contrast Color Effect Filter. There you got this, label, this layer here. I have just selected this aircraft and run my high pass filter on it, which you've, I have illustrated uh, on the BT Journal. The last layer you see up here, well, you might have noticed that there were some annoying foam poles right here along the railroad track and then there's a road right here. This road right here especially is very annoying so that all disappears. But that's it. That's how I finished the photograph. Didn't take very long, very quick to do and that blue sky mystery, okay, it's no more than using the split grad in Adobe Camera Raw and just changing the color of the split grad. Hope that answers your questions, helps you finish those photographs just a little bit better.